Are you a Warhammer 40k fan and you want to serve your Emperor? Join me today as we print our own Space Marine helm. We'll see you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, as I said, we are going to be printing this Space Marine helmet. So mine is in blue. I printed it in white, painted it blue. I'm a big fan of the Ultramarines. Some people poo-poo them. You know, really this one you can kind of make whatever you want, whatever faction you're kind of after. So this model was found out on Thingiverse. I'll credit the artist down below. It is 12 different prints. So this print helmet can be pretty much printed on almost any printer. Um, it was a really neat print. I just did some red, uh, transparent right there. It's not very transparent. I'm looking for basically a red see-through lens that I can actually put on there, but that's for another time. And I still have a lot of painting to do on this model, but let's head over to the computer here in a few moments and let's get this guy, all these prints sliced up and get them printed. So you guys can actually see how this one was made. So before I hop over there though, if you guys could, if you don't mind subscribing to the channel, want to see more cool stuff like this, Mandalorian, all kinds of different things made, hit that subscribe button, join the crew over here. I really appreciate it. Anything you can do to share the channel with friends, family, anybody you know that enjoys this stuff, I would greatly appreciate the share um, building this channel. So hit, leave a comment down below as well if you've got any questions or anything that you'd like to see printed on the channel or just want to talk. Leave a comment down below. I'd be glad to talk with you. And um, as many of the people have found out, I reply pretty quick. So let's head over to the PC. Let's get this thing sliced and we'll see you over there. All right, so we're at the computer and as you guys see, here's the file. So we're doing the space helmet, space marine helmet wearable by Rich WP. So I thought this one was a beautiful file. Um, and as you can see, as I scroll across here, the file is completely already pre-cut up for you to print this. You don't have to do anything with mesh mixer or anything like that. So all the pieces are already done and they even have peg points. You can see the holes in the picture there to be assembled with each other, <clears throat> which is a great feature for this print. So you can get a better view right there, right there, right there, and there. So you can make it actually even stronger as you assemble it. So let's pull up Kira and actually let's get the files going on here. So what's cool about this is I'm going to do this a little bit different. I'm going to follow my Ender 3 for this one. So you're going to have multiple prints with the Ender 3, but hey, what's wrong with that? So let's start putting stuff on the plate. So there's one of the earbuds, and for that one I recommend we lay it flat, which that did not happen with that. And we're going to get that guy back down on the build plate, we're going to move him over in the corner. Didn't get him perfectly flat, but hey, boop, now we did, and zero. Okay, one piece on the build plate, okay, right earbud. Same process. We're going to get him zeroed out. Get him on the build plate. So those are two the earbuds that will go on the sides of the helmet. <clears throat> so the eye lens was a pretty cool print. I did this in transparent red so light would come through it. It's recommended to do this one in base mode so it's very thin and gives you a great backdrop. Now, one thing I've been looking for is a red lens on uh, Amazon or somewhere that I can buy and replace that with actually something seeable, but um, you can do that with transparent. Then we got the, gr the, the facial grill pieces. <clears throat> we got the small one that's on the left and the right right there. Then we got the mouth grill. Oh. It didn't think there was enough room on the plate for it. So we'll just kind of make room on the plate for it. And I would lay these flat as well. I just haven't done so. Um, so we've got, this is basically all the little pieces. So you could do these potentially in one print. This one, if you want it to be see-through or color light through, I would do it on its own. So 
pretty easy print right there, right? This is on an Ender 3 build plate, which is awesome. So I'm going to clear my build plate, and I'm going to get the helmet bottom. Now this one is a trick to get on here. Now if you're doing a CR-10, no problem, but we're not. So I'm actually going to stand that up. I'm going to zero it, get that on the build plate, and then to make this printable with my inner three, I'm going to turn, I'm going to twist it. Then I'm going to move it. And looky there, it is doable. Now, I'm going to scroll slowly through here and let you guys see my standard settings. Infill, you don't need to do a lot. Those walls are pretty thin, so your walls give it most of the structure. So don't waste PLA there. Here, you may need to do 80 or 75 because of the way this is sitting. Now, I didn't give a good explanation with the Mandalorian helmet. I'm going to give one here for this. <clears throat> when you look at this, this is the outside. You want this area to be pristine. So I have it tilted. So a lot of my supports are on the inside where my head is. And those contact points are unseen. I didn't explain this with the Mandalorian helmet, but the reason why I position some of the stuff the way I do is if I'm going to have support, I want the outside surface where you're all going to see it as pristine as possible. Now, to me, that's way too much support. That is overly too much support, so I'm going to kick that back to 85 for that piece. But as you can see, the parts fit. I'm going to clear the bill plate on that one. I'm going to get, get one of the front pieces. And this is one of, I think this was the hardest piece. I think I did this one with a CR-10. I don't remember. But we're going to try to make it work. Can we get you on a on here? Hmm. I don't think we're gonna get this one on here, guys. Maybe if I. Oh, and of course, it's horribly not that access. All right. <clears throat> Can we make this one work? It's just a little too big for the Ender 3 by the looks of it. Yep. So the main mouthpiece. So with that being said, for an Ender 3, you may need to scale down. But between a CR-10 and an Ender 3, a lot of the pieces can be printed on an Ender 3. Um, you may, I have to retract my statement, you may want to take Mesh Mixer and cut it here to make this two separate pieces so that you can actually uh, do that. And if you want to see a mesh mixer video, please uh, leave a comment down below and we'll, uh, we'll talk about that. So here's one of the side pieces. As you can see, we can make that fit with an Ender 3. Put your build plate. Helmet bottom, same thing. You just got to play with your rotations and your angles and your positioning. And I uh, need to turn it a little bit more. There we go. So the bottom piece is fit. The only piece that hasn't fit is that front grill piece. Oh, uh, clear build plate. <coughs> now, here's the top back piece, which if you do the rotation like we did the first piece, that one will fit. And we'll clear the build plate. Then we got the top front. That one will easily fit. And you can't see it here, but there's actually a really good amount of detail on this piece. So the only piece we really had a problem with
So as you can see, I was actually wrong. I got this on the Ender 3 build plate. You just got to turn it, which does mean there's going to be some support connections on the outside, which is kind of poo-poo, but you can get it all on the Ender 3. Mesh mixer, I mean, you can cut it and make it into smaller halves to do less printing, less support, but this is doable. So um, let's get this over to the printer. I did it in separate pieces. I used multiple printers for this one, but what I just showed you was Ender 3 settings. So you can do this with the Ender 3. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to the time lapse and get this one wrapped up so you can see the final product. Thanks. All right, guys, that's the video. So as you saw, put all the pieces. I just used some tester modeling glue and some clamps and I glued it all together. I still got a lot of filler and just some general work to do to it. Um, I printed it white. I uh, just used some nice blue spray paint to kind of get close to the ultramarine blue because that's where I'm going with this one. Um, but all in all, it went together really well. The pieces have little pegs that's already built into the model that went together really well. The iconography, the Quilla, all of that stuff looks fantastic on this. There's even grooves in here to make sure you get the ear pieces on right. So that's the video. Um, if you guys want to see me paint this, leave me a comment down below. Hit a like on that video. Say you want to see more of this. Because um, Warhammer, I, I enjoy Warhammer, whether it's the minis or doing this stuff or the books. So I do not mind doing stuff for, with Warhammer. So thank you guys. Please remember hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed what you saw today so you can get notifications and come on back and join the crew. Um, hit that bell so you do get the notifications. Leave a comment down below if there's anything you'd like to see and share with your friends and family. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.